Hello everyone and welcome to the Discovery Zone. Today, very big news. Scientists are about to revolutionize the world with shock news in the Grand Canyon. From ancient relics to blood-curdling monsters and shocking fossils, the stories surrounding the Grand Canyon just keep getting wilder. Scientists are knee-deep in unraveling nature's mysteries, exploring the secrets that lie within the vast expanse of this natural wonder. Let's embark on a journey to uncover some of the intriguing discoveries and unsolved enigmas that have captivated researchers and adventurers alike. In 2016, a trained geologist named Alan Krill was exploring the Grand Canyon with his students on a casual walk along the Bright Angel Trail. It was just like any other expedition until an oddly placed boulder caught Alan's attention. This was no ordinary rock. It had markings that made his heart skip a beat he knew he had stumbled upon something significant. The boulder held the secrets of the prehistoric world etched right onto its surface, revealing the footprints of long extinct creatures that roamed the earth before the time of the mighty T-Rex. Unable to contain his excitement, Alan immediately photographed the boulder and shared the images with his enthusiastic colleague Roland at the University of Nevada. Roland confirmed Alan's suspicions. The markings were fossilized footprints. But the question remained, how old were they? Examination and meticulous research revealed that these footprints date back to approximately 313 million years, predating the age of dinosaurs. After burning the midnight oil, researchers made an even more astonishing discovery. There were two sets of footprints on the rock, likely preserved after being wet and covered in layers of sand. These tracks were formed approximately 330 million years ago. While professionals are still pondering whether these footprints belong to two different animals or just one creature walking back and forth, one thing is certain. The footprints that initially caught Alan's attention belong to an ichneotherium, a four-legged vertebrate, also known as a didectomorph. Interestingly, these creatures had never been observed in a desert habitat until now. Let's take a closer look at the adaptations of these reptilian-looking creatures. Paleontologists have discovered that they were not meant to survive in a brutal desert environment. Despite their similarities in appearance and anatomy to many other creatures, they are not classified as amniotes, which include live reptiles, birds, and mammals. This makes their discovery even more unique. The Grand Canyon is renowned for its abundance of fossil tracks, but these footprints are by far the oldest vertebrate footprints ever discovered. They provide insights into the earliest examples of vertebrate animals that walked on dunes and were egg-laying species. This information not only helps us learn more about this particular species, but also sheds light on the ancient ecosystems and the adaptations of early life forms. Furthermore, scientists have even been able to determine how this tetrapod walked solely from studying its footprint. Now that's some stellar detective work. But the mysteries of the Grand Canyon don't end there. One of the most perplexing enigmas lies in the geological layers of the canyon. The Grand Canyon can be divided into three parts. The bottommost layer, comprising the oldest rocks known to man. The middle layer, composed of sedimentary rocks that lack fossils. And the top layer, which contains Paleozoic layers with fossil evidence of ancient life. However, there is a literal gap between these layers known as the Great Unconformity. Instead of finding sedimentary rocks that could be dated to a specific period, there's a missing section where evidence of the Neo-Proterozoic era should be present. This gap has confounded scientists for years. Numerous theories have been proposed, including the erosion caused by a global ice age or complex tectonic plate shifts billions of years ago. The Great Unconformity remains a fascinating geological puzzle that continues to baffle researchers. Determined to find answers, scientists have employed innovative methods, such as thermochronology, to study the rocks and uncover the missing chapters of Earth's history. Deep within the Grand Canyon, there are also tales of ancient civilizations and hidden tunnels. According to Egyptian folklore, there has been an ongoing debate about whether ancient Egyptians voyaged to America. An intriguing story from 1909, published on the front page of the Arizona Gazette, speaks of an archaeological expedition funded by the Smithsonian Institute that uncovered an underground network of tunnels filled with ancient artifacts, including mummies. However, the Smithsonian denies any knowledge of the lead archaeologist, Professor Jordan, or the adventurer who reported the discovery, G.E. Kincaid. 
While evidence remains elusive, the story continues to circulate in books and articles, leaving us to wonder what other hidden secrets might be concealed within the depths of the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon has also witnessed its fair share of strange phenomena, including UFO sightings. Reports of unidentified flying objects near the canyon have intrigued many over the years. While most sightings can be easily explained by commonplace phenomena such as airplanes, weather balloons, or natural occurrences, there are some encounters that remain mysterious. Pilots, witnesses, and UFO enthusiasts have reported strange lights and objects in the sky, adding an air of mystique to the canyon's already awe-inspiring landscape. While the nature of these encounters is challenging to ascertain, the possibility of extraterrestrial activity continues to captivate the imagination of many. The Grand Canyon is not only a geological marvel, but also a treasure trove of scientific discoveries and unsolved mysteries. Its vastness and complexity leave us in awe of the wonders that lie within. It serves as a constant reminder of the mysteries that surround us, reminding us that there is still much to learn and explore in the depths of our natural world. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you at the next adventure.